This whole cycle is 18 years, but notice how it's kind of two phases. One phase is from the crash into the first expansion phase. Four plus seven is 11. Hence why people think seven to 10 years. It's actually just half of the one cycle. So think about it, GFC. What caused the peak? Loose credit. Loose credit pushes up all the asset prices. At some point, things get overvalued. People become over leveraged. So when there's gonna be a correction, because people are over leveraged, there's no buffers. There's no safety nets. That's what pushes people into distress selling and pushes us into our recessionary period. You need a recession to clear it all out, like a scrub fire going through a bush. And once it clears it all out, it starts to get some traction again but there's no resources. So it all comes through innovation. Innovation, primarily tech stocks. You start to see stock market grow, you see land market grow a little bit in that first phase. But then innovation, some of those things are gonna work out and some of those things aren't. So there's gonna be another correction, typically in the tech stocks, but not really a correction too much in the land. But because we're not leveraged, governments, consumers, and banks can provide stimulus. So that's what pushes us into the second phase. And then of course, they start loosening credit. Things become overvalued, things become over leveraged, and when the correction comes, that's what causes the burnout.